Last week we got those beds completed in that 20 by 100 high tunnel. So moving forward, the next thing for us to do is to get wood chips in the walkways. Now, there is uh, some controversy about wood chips saying that they steal nitrogen from the soil and all that. I believe if you're probably incorporating them into the soil, there may be some uh, stealing of nitrogen or anything like that. But there's a lot of famous market farmers and a lot of gardeners that use wood chips that don't have any issues with that. I've used wood chips here for the last couple of years. I've never had issues with uh, with anything, any issues or any problems in my growing media. Saying that, um, let's talk about wood chips a little bit. Um, there are lots of ways to get wood chips. I actually get my wood chips free from a local, our local uh, electric co-op here um, actually delivers these wood chips to me for free. Um, I've been on some apps and I've been on some websites to try to get wood chips here for the last couple of years. And so far I have been unable to get those. We live far enough from a major city that they really don't want to travel 20 miles um, to dump off wood chips because I'm sure there's closer drop offs to them. But since we do live out in the country, um, I got a hold of our local electric co-op. Um, they said we would be glad to drop off wood chips to you. So this is the first two loads they dropped off last week. He said there's three or four more loads they have to drop off. So this works out great because this is something I don't have to pay for. I don't have to pay someone to truck it in for me or load it in my truck and then the labor put it in and the labor taking it out. So the only inconvenience of this is sometimes you get you get bigger sticks um, and branches in there. But for me, for being free, um, I am willing to pull those sticks out like that. Plus, you can still put those in the walkways and just cover them up. But anyway, guys, I've got a lot of wood chips to fill here. Um, so I'm going to get going. All right, guys, we got our buckets of wood chips in here. And um, once again, I really, really, really like to use wood chips. And the reason why is I've got two reasons why. One is you saw in our last video series of last week that we had a lot of drainage issues over here. I'm going to address those when everything dries out, but until then, I've got to figure out a fix. Um, so it kind of helps sop that up, and uh, we're going to use wood chips. If you, you remember watching our video, we were literally sinking six to seven inches into muck over here because of how saturated our soil was from all the snowfall and rain we've had in the last 30 days. So I put six to seven inches of wood chip in here, and what that's going to do is that's going to uh, fill that area up, fill that void up, and it's going to absorb a little bit of water on the outside here and trying to keep that keep that uh, runoff to a minimum. Plus, it makes it look very aesthetically pleasing in here. I like a very clean walkway. I like a clean bed. So I like it when I open the door of my high tunnel. Everything is aesthetically pleasing to the eye um, from the way the way my vegetables are lined out to the way I use the strings on here to make my beds perfectly straight as possible. And I use the wood chips to make everything look uh, pleasing. And it, it, it's a known fact that um, when you work in an area that's, that's, that's got a lot of trash, a lot of clutter, a lot of weeds, you tend not to want to do that job. You tend to try to push yourself away from weeding because it's overwhelming for you. There's too much going on. Your anxiety takes off. Um, if you can start from the beginning of making a clean uh, work area, you're always going to have that gung-ho attitude when you walk in here. You're going to open this door and you're going to be proud of what you produced and what you made. And you're going to want to do that 125% um, to, to go above and beyond what you're capable of uh, to produce a great product. And I think that also follows you to market also. If you're more, uh, if you're kind of um, down and out about things, you may portray that at the market, that you're not a very good seller, not a very good grower. But if you have great attitude in yourself and great attitude in your product and reliability, you tend to portray that to other people. And it's just kind of like, I think that's just human nature. But anyway, we're not here to talk about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these wood chips uh, dumped in this walkway. And you guys just follow along. For three days now I've been running for my life. Passing right on my tail. And ran my horse into the ground back there along the trail. All right, I got the last of the buckets of wood chips dumped into this last walkway here. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy the way it looks. Um, actually, 
about 10 minutes ago, the, uh, the local municipality showed back up and dumped another three yards of wood chips for me back here. So I'm covered for wood chips going into this season, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I inspire you guys to do the same kind of reach out to people and uh, see if that's a, something that you could get delivered to you guys. Um, like I said, it was free. I don't have to pay for them, and they deliver them right to my house. So that may or may not be an option for you guys, but it is free, so that worked out pretty well. But uh, I've got a pretty deep layer in here. I've got enough wood chips now. I can kind of uh, make this a little deeper. So I've got about five, six inches of wood chips in here. All right. I've got all of the wood chips dumped into the walkways here. As you can see, everything looks nice and neat. Um, I still got a little bit of work to go back. All I'm doing is taking a standard yard rake, and I'm going back and uh, I'm trying to accomplish two things here. One is I'm trying to level out this, this bed um, because compost is a little dry. It's been in here over a week now. And so I'm trying to just to level off this bed from just gravity and from just walking and everything. I level off this, uh, this bed so when I go into seeding next week, that uh, everything will be nice and level. And two, you know, we dumped all those wood chips in here with the five gallon bucket. You're gonna get a little debris into your bed. So what I like to do is I like to just follow it up with a little rake. And if I can, just real lightly, kind of just pull those wood chips back into the aisle here and then um, kind of clean the top of the bed. You're not gonna get all of them by all means, but you're gonna get a majority of them. But I just kind of wanted to show you what this was gonna look like um, after we got the wood chips in this pathway. Uh, next video, I think what we are going to work on is we are going to work on uh, irrigation, which is going to be drip and hand watering. And then we're going to put some landscaping fabric in here. So uh, you guys stick around and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Your compost? Um, we're not incorporating. All right. All right, Nick, I'm gonna try that again. It fell off the freaking stand.